Congratulations on the knock yesterday. Were you always uh, expecting to open? Uh, no, it didn't happen until real late um, that I got the nod to open. Um, I think they were about eight for and and Pup ran past me and said that I'll, I'll probably be opening with Finchie. So it was uh, it was very nice of him to give me that give me the opportunity up top of the order, and I'm I'm glad I took it with both hands. What was the mentality going out there? Mitchell Stark said yesterday that he reckons you go out there and don't really think about it too much. In all due respect, though, go out there and just play your shots. Um, what was the mentality for you going out? Uh, just to see if there was any width. Um, really, just don't hold back on it. I think. With the whacker and the way it, um, the way it sort of carries through, if you if you play your shots, if, if you do nick it, it generally goes over the top. So um, it was just sort of play without fear, and if it came off, it came off. If it didn't, um, hopefully the boys could get them over the line and get 70. So uh, I think the thing is, we were chasing 71. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot um, that could have gone too horribly wrong. So um, all good, and um, yeah, we got we won the game. Then what was did did you have a chance to chat to Michael? about sending you in, I mean, what was the thought behind that? Was it possibly looking forward to India to get you in those sort of situations, those high pressure situations? Uh, I don't believe so. I think it was more just um, the state of the game, uh, try, and, try and get it over and done with as quick as possible. Uh, 71 is not a big target, so uh, those sorts of run chases, as you saw in, um, in the Gabba when Sri Lanka were chasing it, sort of, if you lose a few wickets and try and sort of go about uh, too defensively, you can almost get yourself into trouble. So. We thought we'd take that out of the equation and go at it really aggressively. Do you like having that role, a bit of a pinch hitter and you know just someone that can bat anywhere I'd, at any given time? I'd like to have the role of just opening. Uh, it's always a nice, nice freedom to be given. But um, it was, it was a fun role for me. I, lo I like playing different roles in, for Australia and, and and getting every chance I can um, just to bat for Australia. So it, it was good fun, and I'll hopefully get a similar opportunity in the future. You expect tomorrow to open again? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully. Um, Hopefully we're rolling for 70 again, I'll get the same opportunity. To, to get there in 9.2 overs, did you guys deal them a, a bit of a psychological blow in, in the comprehensive nature of that win? Uh, we hope so. Um, obviously getting beaten um, by nine wickets in the first game of a series is a, is a good start, but uh, the way we look at it, we started the, a similar way against Sri Lanka and, and let things slip pretty quickly. So we'll be ho hoping to sort of keep the pressure right on throughout the whole series and hopefully have a whitewash, get 5-0. Yeah, Mitchell Stark said that yesterday, that 5-0 would be nice. Is that the goal amongst all of you? Have you guys spoken about that, saying that's a, a real task for us? It's our goal to win every game for Australia. Every game we walk out there, we want to win. So um, it would be unrealistic for us to not think 5-0. If, we, if we're thinking we want to win 3-2, I think that's negative thinking. So uh, we want to win every game of this series, and, and we're hoping to win every game for the season. Even, even and that might not be possible, but that's what we're hoping for. We thought about um, India and yeah, obviously, um, I'm probably not going to get too many uh, pitches like that in India. Um, but I've, I've thought about how I'm going to be playing spinners over there. and um, I've, I've been lucky enough to obviously uh, play over there a little bit. had the academy uh, a couple of years ago and I've obviously had the IPL experience last year. So um, I, I know my game plan over there is going to be pretty simple, um, using my feet against the spinners and, and, and hopefully they'll, they'll hold me in good stead. Have the guys been told who's going to go early? Uh, not yet. I think we're still waiting to find out um, on the uh, last two games or last three games who's selecting the one day. So we're not, we haven't been told yet. The, uh, the West Indies, um, with their mindset, do you feel like they're a team that can just shrug that loss off and come back and bounce back? Yeah, definitely. They're, they're a very positive thinking side. I think any day they can just turn it on. I think um, we were talking about straight after the game that uh, any day Gale could turn it on and score 200 in a one day and all of a sudden we're chasing 370 or 3. 380 so um, they, they can flick it on and off like a switch so it's, they're, they're a very dangerous side and we know that we're not going to take anything for granted against them and ho hopefully we can keep that pressure on them for um, tomorrow's game. Can I ask you about the nickname? James Brayshaw has been going on about the big show, how does it sit with you? Uh, it doesn't sit too well with me but I'll, it's, it's just a nickname to me. Um, I got given it by a few of the guys in Dubai, um, someone likened me to K uh, KP who calls himself the big show I think so. Um, it sits okay. I mean, it doesn't really bother me to tell you the truth. It's just like Maxi, really. With the explosive batting yesterday, what do you think's your greatest strength? Your batting or your or your bowling? Um, I think my greatest strength's my batting. Um, I think my bowling's definitely catching up. I've done a lot of work on it. Um, yesterday, I, I suppose I had had a role to play. It wasn't really batting. It was sort of more just trying to hit as many boundaries as possible and try and get the game over and done with. So uh, I, I just tried to do the role that I was told to do and, and do as well as I could. What do you feel you need to do to claim that all rounder spot, both at Test and One Day level? I suppose. Uh, I, I suppose I've just got to be consistent. Uh, I th think the thing of being a young all rounder, you're going to probably have inconsistencies um, 
in performance, but I feel like I'm I'm getting slightly better with uh, more consistent performance, and and hopefully Australia knows what what they're going to get when they pick me. So I suppose that's the biggest thing for for them, knowing that when I when I bowl, I'm going to go for less than four runs and over or five runs and over, and and hopefully get them a few wickets and you know, every now and then, and and with the bat just be um, a consistent solid contributor. Um, can you talk us through your bowling, the, the work you've done on it, and who you've worked with, and maybe some of the technical aspects that you've really addressed? Uh, it, it sort of goes a long way back to the academy. I, I started working with John Davidson up there, and um, I had a lot of video footage brought to me about my action and how uh, I had a lot of deficiencies, uh, not being able to drift the ball away from the right hander, and I was getting a lot of overspin, but not a lot of side spin. Um, so we did a lot of video analysis up at the academy. Um, I think that was in 2009, and and since then I've been working with Sean Fleger and Sean Fleger in Melbourne, uh, Ray Bright, and even recently Shane Warne um, with the Stars. And even though Shane Warne was, wasn't really technical, it was more mental with him. So, uh, but yeah, I've done a lot of video work, and, and I'm hoping that what I've got now is something I can I can really work on in the future. What was some of the advice that Warney passed on, on on the mental side that you're saying? Uh, a lot of field settings and and mental mental stuff against batters. Uh, it was it was more in game in game sense stuff. So he was great to work with, and just about working batters out. So I, I'm hopefully I can use that in India and and sort of showcase my skills over there. Is it a different approach bowling in India compared to bowling here? I mean, the pitches are a lot different. Yeah, definitely. I think um, especially with the wickets and the way they spin, and you can bowl a lot faster over there, and and really use your pace variations to your advantage. I think in Australia you've got to be a lot more accurate, a lot more consistent on the on a on a certain area where India allows you a lot more margin for error just because of the way it spins. So I'm really looking forward to getting over there and, and getting the opportunity to bowl a lot of overs. You, you, you say um, your batting is your strength. I mean, what do you need to do with your batting to I guess, be a, a, I guess a test batch and being able to bat all day? Um, I suppose get the opportunity. Um, I'd, I'd li like to uh, get the opportunity to, to bat all day. I haven't really played a lot of shield cricket this year and, and a few of the uh, first class games I have played, I felt like I've been batting really well. So I feel like if I'm called upon, I can... I can actually get the opportunity to bat all day. With the short game yesterday, if the guys have a preference tomorrow, do you want another short game or you get happy to get another 50 other game out there and get some more match practices? I think we'll just be happy to win. I, I don't think we care how long the game goes as long as we're on the winning side of the ledger. So it doesn't bother us at all. Um, it definitely makes our bodies feel better when it's a short game. So however it pans out, it pans out. We've seen you play some amazing shots. I mean, yesterday's innings was case in point, some of the innings in Dubai. I mean, are you more than just a slogger? Yeah, I feel like I'm definitely a, um, a, a genuine batsman. I, I've, I've done a lot of work on my technique over the last few years, and especially with Greg Shippard in Victoria, he, he's, he's been a big believer in my technique, and I, I feel like that's really shone through in Shield cricket. Um, I've, I've played some good good Shield innings as well. I've, I've just played technically really good cricket, so I'm hoping I can showcase that um, when the when the opportunity arises. But uh, yesterday wasn't really that time to do it. Yeah. Will we see those big shots in Test cricket? Can you play them as well? Um, not sure. As, as I said, if the if the time allows for it, I, I probably will. But I think I'm I'm sure when I if I do get the chance to play Test cricket, I'll um I'll probably be a little bit more reserved. Were you inspired by the Australian Open with some of those shots yesterday? Uh, yeah, actually, Usman actually came up to me and said, uh, "Do you play tennis much?" After I hit that last at that one over cover, so uh, I, I actually used to play a bit of tennis. So <laughs> I used that to my advantage.